Hello, my name is Raja Sharma and I'm the technical director here at Webbox. And today we are going to talk about custom intent audiences in Google Ads. So custom intent audiences, as the name says, is the capturing the intention of the user when they are still searching or browsing for a product. So for example, if I am looking to buy a new car, if I'm looking to buy a new motorbike, I'm looking to buy a boating gear, my searches on Google will change for what I'm searching for, what I'm investigating on. And those are the searches that uh, an advertiser can use to target users on, on the display advertising, on the YouTube advertising. So I'll show you how you can create these custom intent audiences. And I will show you uh, what are the options that are available that you can use for targeting. So I'll share my screen with you now. So you can see on my screen, I'm in the Google Ads account for WebFonks. I'm using them as an example. So you can see the custom intent audience list in under tools and settings. And on here, you can see the audience manager. So if I select that, I can see the audience list that has been there. You can go to custom segments and you can go plus and create a new custom segment for our audience list. So for example, I want to create an audience list for people who are into pet foods, who want to buy pet foods or um, research are still researching on what is a pet food, good pet food for them. Um, so what I'm going to know is I'm going to write down the terms at this is a custom intent audience list for pet foods. And if I see uh, the options available here, so you can see either you can target people based on if they are of interest and they are on purchase intention of making the purchase, or you can either target them if they are actively searching for a term on Google. So this only works for a period of last seven days. So for example, if I made a search today, if this ad will be only displayed to me if that act, uh, keyword is active in my browser history for the last seven days only. So for example, guessing the people who are into pet foods would actually be looking at terms for anything to do with pet foods or dog food in specific or cat food. And then they should be searching on LV pet foods um, and all those related terms. At this right hand side, you can also see what type or how many people are actually going to be in your segment. So for example, this is still browsing. I can say only show me New Zealand data. They will show you like what type of searches that you can expect when, when you are looking at targeting those keywords. This is how the keywords, uh, they also give you some ideas for that. Healthy dog food for puppies, good dry fruit for dogs. All those key terms can be targeted. So you can also use these keywords to target a competitor brand term. So for example, if I just make a Google search about pet foods and I see all these competitors or all the keywords that are there. So pet direct, for example, pet.co.nz, all these can be targeted as your um, keyword targeting as well. So if this user has is in the market or they are already know about a competitor that, who sells pet foods, you can now display your ads to them uh, on Google Display Network, on YouTube, on videos, and you can target them as well. So that's how it works on the keyword side. Then you can look at the type of websites that these people will be searching for. So you can also target um, people who will be interested in similar websites. So for example, this could be a competitor website that the people like to go to pet websites, but these could be very generic websites as well. So for example, they could be going to um, any pet related website or a pet related article or owning a pet or registering a pet. All those websites can be part of your website similar taste, like similar um, capacities. So you can target them here. The next thing would be you can also target them for apps. So if there are any certain apps related to owning a pet or having a pet at home, I don't have a pet, so I don't know which apps would be there, but you can do a bit of a research and talk to your um, team as well. 
which sort of apps that they will be interested in. So for example, walking your dog or uh, any day trips with your dog, that kind of apps that you can, you can target. So once you have created this custom segment, you should be able to see the type of audience or the amount of audiences that are available for you to targeting. You save that. And this is your custom intent audience that you can use in your display and video campaigns for targeting those audiences. I hope you find this useful. So it's, it's a really good tool to showcase your product when you are entering a market or when you want to get ahead of, um, in front of the users who are already in the market for you. Yeah. So I would end to that and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.